Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Today Google released Android 14 QPR3 Beta 1 which is the beta cycle for June 24 feature drop and I have it here on my Pixel 8 Pro to show you each and every new change. So without further ado, let's jump in. Let's start with the build number. It's AP21.240.119.009. Keep in mind that this is a small update so don't expect a massive number of new features. So let's move on to the lock screen. The first thing I noticed is the weaker haptic feedback when you tap on the lock screen shortcuts and I barely feel it especially if I have the case on. The second change when you start Google Wallet from your lock screen like this it no longer shows the card with the fingerprint icon like before but it keeps the lock screen wallpaper and once you unlock the device it will take you to the payment page inside the Google Wallet app. Now let me show you some random tweaks and refinements here and there. Starting with the text selection, it feels a lot more accurate and faster than before because I can tap and hold and then drag my finger right away without the need to lift my finger from the screen. Plus, it feels a lot more precise in my selections. So I'm not sure if this is related to this build specifically, but I did notice it once I started to copy text. So please let me know if you feel the same thing. The bubbles animation also looks different. I didn't use this feature for a while, but when I started to use it after this build, you will see here when I dismiss it, it will collapse to the top first and then a slide, which is new to me. And also when I expand the keyboard, it does the same thing. It feels a bit faster than before when you tap on the buttons and try to dismiss it. So I think that's also a new change in QPR3. I also found a new option under the USB preferences menu when I connected my phone to the PC. It's called charge connected device that you can turn on or off. And this is a very useful feature because sometimes when you connect your phone to another one via USB-C, you might charge the other phone without knowing which will drain your battery. And now you have the option to avoid this from happening. And now let me show you the new changes under settings. The first one is under display. When you scroll all the way down, now we have a new menu called touch sensitivity. It says here adjust touch screen sensitivity. And when you go inside, you will find the screen protector mode. And instead of having it as an option right on the front page. The second change is under security and the privacy and then device unlock. When you try to add a new fingerprint, it will no longer show you how to place your finger on the sensor in a graphical tutorial, but it will only rely on text like in this case. So I'm not sure if this is a bug or Google decided to remove this feature from the fingerprint setup process. 9 to 5 Google also shared a new feature that I didn't get on my phone just yet. It's located under security and the privacy, then more security and the privacy. You should see a new option called scanning for deceptive apps. The description says scanning runs privately right on your device, checking app activity for phishing or other deceptive behavior. If it's detected, some app info is sent to Google Play Protect to confirm the threat and warn app users. And you have the ability to turn the feature on or off. And it says here, this is a protected security feature. No device or personal info is shared with Google. Last but not least, there is a new Easter egg in this build, teasing Android 15, which is expected to come very soon in its first developer preview build. So this is the new design for the Easter egg. And when you take a look at the old one, it was a circle with the word Android 14 at the top, which is no longer the case. The Easter egg itself works exactly the same as before. You just need to tap and hold until you launch the spaceship and start looking for the planets when you move your spaceship in the right direction. Now let's talk about the performance and battery life. I didn't encounter any major issues while filming this video, but the scrolling is a bit sluggish when compared to the stable version and it happens in each and every app. When it comes to the banking apps, they work absolutely fine on my Pixel 8 Pro, so you shouldn't have an issue with your banks. And when it comes to the battery life, I'm getting three hours and 17 minutes since last full charge, I lost 54%. I'm using the phone only on cellular data. The display uh, is set to 61% at all time with the light theme activated. So it's expected to get me between six to seven hours of screen on time which is about the same as the stable version. So that's pretty much it for today. Those are all the new changes I wanted to show you in Android 14 QPR3 Beta 1. Please let me know in the comments if I missed anything. But for now, thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video.